Hey guys, Dylan from The Geek Door here, and today I'll be bringing you my reaction to Star Wars The Clone Wars Season 5 Episode 20, titled The Wrong Jedi. On trial for murder, Ahsoka is expelled from the Jedi Order. And this is the final episode of this season. And as I've said multiple times, this is probably one of the most important episodes from this show as it has ramifications that set the entirety of uh, movie 3 onwards into motion but let's get this started in 3, 2, 1, go Never give up hope, no matter how dark things seem. Now I'm not sure which, but one of these is the Grand Inquisitor.
Do they really lock it back up in this place? Track down Ventress. I can't be at your trial anyway. I mean, that's fair. I hope you didn't want to abandon you either. But he was sorely outnumbered, so. I can't if I can't speak. She said it herself. Also, I got knocked out and had my lightsaber stolen, so...
She made a video call. Anyone may have been listening in. Hmm. Mm. I thought hers would have bled and he would have found out. Yeah, I thought she'd bled hers and when he turned it on it would be red and... <laughs> yes, I have seen that in a meme. The only thing the Jedi believes in is violence. Ignite's second saber to prove her wrong. Does he have a white saber? Yes. Did he not bring his lightsaber out when he was tracking down Ahsoka's or... Because I don't remember that.
Really? You try to spit it that way? She's... That's no longer a Padawan. Had you not tried to spit it as a, this is your great trial, this is the force working to prove that you are a Jedi, then maybe she may have made a different decision. <laughs> because by putting it, saying that the force is in, is responsible for this, is taking the blame off of themselves. And that is why this is such a pivotal episode for the show. I knew pretty much the entirety of this episode before coming into it. To the point where I could have, at the start of this, given you a blow-for-blow -blow rundown of what was going to happen. However, it still needed to be watched because of everything that it causes. This takes Ahsoka, one of Anakin's most trusted um, companions, his f friend, his, um, I'd say, family, away from him, uh, just another one. He loses her, then he believes he loses Padme and Obi-Wan and that. This, may, this massively blows his... Um, belief in the Jedi Council and everything because all in all had they stuck with Ahsoka had they not given in to what the um, Senate wanted and everything then she wouldn't have gone to trial she wouldn't have been stripped of her rank to begin with she wouldn't have left it shows that um, the Jedi order can make mistakes and everything mistakes that directly affect Anakin and the people he cares about so in doing so also calls into question everything that they've ever said to him about keeping people away from him just learning to let go of those you fear to lose and everything this brings him like out of their light and further into 
Palpatines for him to manipulate because he now knows, hey, you've lost, you've lost your mother, you've lost your Padawan, you're married to a senator without the Jedi's knowledge. If you lose her too, what will that make of you? And so he's able to further manipulate like that because Anakin's biggest thing is he cares about people. He doesn't care about the light side. He doesn't care about the dark side. He cares about the people closest to him. So for the Jedi to be responsible for one of those people distancing themselves from his lifestyle, feeling like they have to do that because of everything. This is a major st step towards Anakin's descent into the dark side. Now that is still not to put everything off of Anakin. He still did take that final plunge, but this was a big part. It also explains why Ahsoka isn't there. A, in episode 3, when everything's going down, because that apparently coincides with the latter half of um, season 7. So it explains why she wasn't there, because she wasn't a Jedi or anything, she wasn't authorized on the mission or anything, so... She wasn't there to save the be sent to save the Chancellor, which means she was on her own mission, her own separate thing, during the events of Revenge of the Sith and everything. So, that's why she wasn't able to help out there. And, yeah, so, because of this one episode, sure, Anakin always had the call to the dark. But he also had near unwavering faith to the Jedi Council. But because of this, he was able to be... The Wedge was created and Sidious just came in and pushed them even further apart. Like I said, had they not gone for the... The Force is the one responsible for all of this. It was, this was your test to prove that you are truly a great Jedi and everything. Had they not gone for that and just, hey, we fucked up. We're sorry. Can you forgive us? We're going to reinstate you. We're going to make you no longer a Padawan. We'll make you a Knight. We were pressured by the Senate. But we ultimately agreed with their decision. We could have vetoed them if we wanted to. But, and there were some of us, Master Kenobi, Master Coon, who wanted us to veto, but ultimately, majority ruled out, and we fucked up. Had they gone with that, she may not have decided to... Of course, she may still well have, and in every right... Should have, but, like, because they, um, used the Force as a scapegoat, sort of cemented everything. Because you could see, that was when she crossed her arms and had the real, really, look on her face. Was when they started talking like that, so. Because up until then... She was intently listening to their apologies and everything. But, yeah. Anyway, um... Don't really have time to discuss this anymore. So, I'll end this one here. Catch you in the next one.